Uh, Reggae governs um, how to resolve disputes as a financial institution when it comes to unauthorized uh, money transfers as well as um, debit card disputes uh, or debit card transactions, generally speaking. So when a dispute is initiated, uh, financial institutions have 10 days until they can investigate the claim or they can issue provisional credit. So what they should actually do is they should identify the uh, first party fraud risks as soon as possible, ideally at account opening before a transaction happens, before a dispute happens, so they have enough time to be able to uh, go and do the risk assessments. So when there is a dispute, they actually have all the information they need to be able to investigate the claim on a timely manner. So right now what happens is fraudsters are trying to exploit these uh, the different uh, inefficiencies in processes, they would make a lot of uh, small amount disputes, making it so, so hard to investigate all of them, expecting financial institutions to just write them off without doing any investigations. Some of the common first party fraud schemes, when I think about it, uh, there are so many really. So you can think about um, uh, misrepresentation when you're applying for a credit card or when you want to purchase a new car, you might be slightly lying about your income, your employment status. As a student, you might be lying about your student status to be able to leverage some, some sort of financial gain out of the transaction that you're, you're doing. You could also identity repair at the same time. So you might, or identity repair or credit repair, really. So you might be disputing, for example, this was not me defaulting on this credit card. It was actually you, but you wanted to repair your credit, so you lied about it. So it could be uh, friendly fraud is in e-commerce, we would call them. So you would have no intention of paying for a product, but you need the product for it for some time. So you would purchase the product, you would return it with no intention to really actually keep it. It might be a purchase, it might be a money transfer, you're sending money to somebody, but uh, you claim that, oh, okay, I got scammed into doing this, or I, I don't intend to, or my account was stolen. So you're hoping that you can just get some gain out of that transaction. So those are some interesting first party fraud schemes, but if I were to go on, uh, there are really hundreds of first party frauds, uh, fraud types, and uh, it's scary how common they are.